How you doing, YouTube? Matt Mass of Beer Reviews, back with a little bit of a collab, hopeful new beer goodness in the form of Old Heights Brewing with Heavy Real Brewing. This be their Hardheads. Cal Cal Calabrian style India Pale Lager. Okay. What is a Calabrian India Pale Lager? Basically, they're taking the ever so new ish. Um, uh, Italian lager, Italian pilsner kind of thing, and elevating it to a southern Italian because that's basically what it is. It's a region in southern Italy, so they're basically saying an Italian pilsner like everybody else, but instead of just saying that, they're saying a specific region, um, which is whatever. Uh, it's higher in EBV though. Um, it is a seven percent alcohol by, alcohol by volume collaboration. Like I said, they have listed on here crisp, balanced, and hoppy, and it was brewed at. Old Heights Brewing. Um, this comes courtesy of Old Heights. Um, I did a couple of their beers not too long ago, um, and um, one of the people involved at, at uh, Old Heights kind of reached out and said, I appreciate the review. Can we ever send you some stuff? And I was like, yeah, man. Yeah, whatever you want. That would be great. And that was a while ago. It was a couple months ago. So it's like, okay, you know, a lot of breweries, weirdly enough, a lot of breweries actually reach out to me um, for me doing reviews and just be like, hey, can we send you stuff? And, and then... Um, and I'm like, yeah, here, here, here's my address if you want to send stuff. And they never do, like, a crazy amount. Like, you'd be surprised how many just, it's weird, because I don't, it's not like I'm reaching out to the brewery for stuff. They're reaching out to me, but then they don't send anything. I don't care. I just think it's funny. So it was one of those things where they're like, oh, hey, blah, 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 and nothing came. I was like, okay, they're just not going to send anything. And then, But uh, they reached out uh, a couple days ago, actually, and sent this off. And it's kind of cool, because, uh, you know, I've done my fair share. I did a couple Old Heights beers. I've done my fair share of Heavy Reel before I really dig what Heavy Reel does and I really like what I had from Old Heights so it's going to be fun to dive into this sucker. Label wise, old, two old uh, soldiers on there. I don't know if that has uh, probably some kind of significance for um, both either Jeff or the family there at Heavy Reel and, and people at Old Heights. What does that look like? Now you're talking about it, it looks like an aggressively hopped pale lager, uh, IP, IPA, IPL pale lager kind of looks the part of that you know what i mean has dissipated decently but that's me because i'm talking and i can't shit up and it has a soft kind of haze to it you know not turbid not super thick let's see if we can get a nose i mean really not much there as far as the nose goes um a little bit of very very faint soft citrus wrapped around a not overly bright, but not overly dense kind of maltiness. So there's a sweetness, but not overly sweet. There's obviously hop involved, but it's not uh, like omnipresent. Done and done. It's most crisp and clean, so that lager part is coming across. Just to kind of lacks a little pop, especially at something at 7% alcohol by volume. You'd expect that to be a little bit, a little bit more aggressive. Let's dive in. Cheers. Ooh. That's fun. That's super bright, man. So in a taste, hmm, this is really cool. It actually reminds me quite a bit of the grisette that I had from Old Heights, but a beefed up version of that. And by that, I mean, I did one of their grisettes and it was like, I forget what hop it was, but it was a hopped up grisette. And it, for me, it ended up coming off as a really nice kind of, very kind of uh, bright and uh, sharp kind of um, pale ale. Uh, that's how it kind of came off for, for me more than the grisette. And that's how this kind of comes off for me, too. It comes off as more of a bright kind of, you know, uh, IPA. I mean, it's, it's, it's an IPL. So, I mean, it's not as far removed from a grisette to a pale as this would be an, an IPL to a, um, an IPA. But the way the brightness kind of comes off in this, by brightness, I mean the way the beer presents itself, both on a sweetness level and the way the hops kind of come off. Yeah, that's fun. Lemon. A lot of lemon involved here. You know, this just big citrus note. You get a little bit of the kind of orange, a little bit of grapefruit, even a decent amount of pineapple. But there's this kind of lemon, but not tart or acidic lemon. It's more like lemon bars, kind of candy lemon bars kind of effect going on there. A generic bittering, um, more like tea-like, tannic kind of um, herbal 
kind of bittering, but it kind of works because you get that lemon that's a little bit more pompier. So you want something that's not nearly as green or danky. I'm sure that would work too, but for here, it comes off a little bit more herbal for me. And it has this cool mouthfeel in it. It is a lager. It is crispy, but it has a density to it too. So it's kind of playing both ends of the spectrum in a very fun way. But my favorite thing about this beer, by far and away, is the way the hops show off. That lemony thing it reminds me almost like a Brett Sea level kind of citrus. You can tell you're getting it from hops. It's not yeasting here, but it kind of reminds me of that. And that kind of gets me kind of tickled pink a little bit, to be perfectly honest with you. I like this. This is really fun. I mean, that nose is kind of like underwhelming for me. So I was kind of like, uh, ooh, well, hopefully it has a little bit going on in the taste, but it's, it's overperforming in that. I really like this. Brightness is the way, is like, I would, they say crisp on here. I wouldn't call it crisp, even though it kind of leans in that direction. It's more brightness. It's kind of like summer in a glass kind of thing going on in the way the hops show themselves, the way the, the beer in and of itself, fighting off a sneeze right now, kind of presents itself. <coughs> Mm, excuse me but yeah i think it's a really tasty really fun beer in and, and and very unique i don't remember having this kind of combination of like expressiveness from a malt and hop combination i don't remember ever like this just has that kind of level of uniqueness if i say i have had this combination before i would go back to what i said earlier about the brett thing it comes more in like a farmhouse saisani kind of level um obviously you're not getting like that you know, the peppery yeastiness and that little bit of funkiness even though you get a little bit of lageriness in there but it's more you're not getting that farmhouse kind of funkiness but that kind of expressiveness of that citrus of that lemon kind of characteristic typically comes more from like a mixed culture beer for me than a, an ipa or an ipl and I really dig it. So let's talk about it. This is one of the better IPLs I've had as of late. It would default to that. But I'm just going to say yes, because I think if I drank about like 30 of them over the past couple of months, I think this would still be towards the top. I really like this beer. This is really fun. And like I said, to go from that nose, which showed me not much of anything, to this is pretty cool. Uh, value and availability, no idea. Anybody in the old Heights area want to let me know what's what when it comes to price and availability of this? Actually, the rep there might have actually sent me all that info for that, but... I try not to read that stuff because I want to go into beer on influence. So take that for what it's worth and leave you with if you like what we like this. If you like hazies, but you like farmhouse sales and you want to meet somewhere in the middle. I mean, I don't know. IBLs are, you know, I wouldn't say if you like IPLs because they can be different quite a bit across the board. Um, this is not as saccharine sweet. Not that it would be overly saccharine sweet, but not as sweet as like a IPL you would get from like Jack's Abbey. Um, it's a little bit drier, a little bit more um, powdery sweet as opposed to kind of crystalline sweet. So I wouldn't really associate with, associate it with that. But if you like that kind of bright citrus, leans lemon in a very fun package, this is this is good stuff. So there we go, another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Down there if you want to talk about it, massive beers if you want to check me out there on the social media stuff. Beer Massif, if you want to check me out, do the whole podcasting thing, and hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little bit of a old heights right now. Hope we'll see you next time. Cheers.